part. Let's unpack it and put it together, shall we? Folks, so it has been a spicy hot minute since I built this TBR cart, which I, I just realized you cannot see. It's right there. Um, but I have basically been using this as a um, you know bedside table <laughs> for the past two months since I built it and since I got it because I don't have a bedside table and I had no furniture, but we are finally going to finish this TBR car and give it the life that it was meant to live. I'm very excited. I have a couple supplies that I'd like to talk about first. So we've got my signature vines that I have literally all over my entire apartment. It's just hundreds of vines. So, you know, keep the, keep the vibe going with some more vines on here. Then we have, where is it? Then we have some lights. Uh, let's hope that these work. Hello, where are you? Oh. Ha ha, they do work, how exciting. Okay, nope, nope, hello. There we go, so we got lights. And we also have still quite a few leftover stickers. So I originally bought these for my computer and for my journal but I never ended up using all of them. And there are some classic, just, oh, these are beautiful. So we'll go over these in a moment. And I really want to maybe cover one side with stickers and then have the other side be plain so that I can, you know, like have it look a little classy sometimes, have it look a little nerdy, keep things exciting. Then of course we have my stack of books that I'm gonna be putting on here. So one of the other reasons that I delayed finishing off this video and finishing off my TBR card, I just also wasn't sure how I wanted to go about it. There are just so many different creative ways that I can go about creating a TBR card and different ways that I can stack books on there. So, you know, it's really not that deep. But I overthought it very much. So I've decided I'm going to do one shelf with just some classic favorites that I just want by my side. Another shelf with my current TBR, like well, like my current reads, what I'm currently reading. And then the next one of like, what do I want to pick up right after that? I'm very excited, but there are a couple more items that I want to talk about before we actually get going. So the next item that I'd like to talk about is these two bags of moss so i've had these since i moved in so i've had these for about three months i think and i have used quite a bit of this bag and originally i was going to do this thing where i lined the entire um like area where my wall meets my ceiling in my bedroom in moss and have it kind of like you know spread out but the thing is most moss that you purchase will have been dyed or colored or preserved so there is like a decent chance that if i don't protect the walls first that a little bit of green will come off onto the walls so i've just postponed that for a while and instead i've used these to fill baskets all around i have like a little jar with some moss on my bookshelves I have a giant basket in my bathroom that like holds like little, I don't know, like self-care products and like my hairbrush and my deodorant, you know, and the whole bottom of the basket is moss. So I saw a lot of moss. So I'm going to do, I think the top area all in moss 
And we're all just going to hope for the best and really hope that I don't stain the bottoms of my book screen. And if I do, who cares? They're my books, so I can stain them green if I want to. Ding! So that's mainly it for supplies. I think I'm also going to put a little jar of my eucalyptus on top and I also have some more stickers and stamp like things. I was thinking about writing something on it or using like typewriter letters or sticker letters on it, but I kind of don't want to, so I'm not going to. So let's now switch to me actually finishing off this TBR cart before the sun sets tonight. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees decided to go with the stamp stickers and not the stickers that I've been saving for months because it just didn't really fit the vibe. I also just realized that you can hear my air conditioning, but you know what? We're not changing that. So <laughs> this is my DVR car. I love it so much. I know the top is a bit unconventional with the books lying down. It's a bold statement, but I really dig it. It's kind of like cottage Cory in the forest vibes, which I love and as I mentioned before the top books are some of my favorites and they just kind of happen to all be like the same blue and red color scheme which is really wild because I am not really a blue and red person and it just kind of happened so I think that's really fun and then over here are the books I am currently reading or are on my very soon about to read TBR and then the books down here are the books that I really want to get to next. After I read all of these, 
Although there is one book that I have already read which I won't be rereading on this and it's actually The Rage of Dragons but it just fits so wonderfully next to The Fires of Vengeance which I am about to read for Draconathon. If you don't know what Draconathon is, it is a dragon based readathon that I am co-hosting with Jade from Jaded Reader. It's about to start and it's throughout the entire month of August so if you are interested you should definitely check out my announcement video which I will link down below. And if you're interested in some of the books down here, not not all just a couple of them and a couple of these it's it's it's, it's a mix um, some of these books are also on my summer tbr some i just kind of snuck in there as a hopeful little slide in i hope maybe this inspired even just one person out there to do something creative with a tbr cart or something else to you know display your books in a beautiful way i love it <laughs> But I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a lovely day and don't forget to subscribe, comment your thoughts if you have a TBR cart, how you enjoy it, how you organized your TBR cart, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye!